Hi, in this screencast, I would show how you can create a custom appliance installed only with the packages you need and use it for redistribution. I am creating a virtual machine using Ubuntu Server 9.10. I am configuring it with 4GB hard drive, 512MB RAM, one external floppy, two virtual Ethernet adapters, one configured as NAT and one configured as a host only network. I would later customize this appliance for creating virtual clusters and running MPI jobs. I will uh, skip the remaining installation process and uh, directly go to the installed VM now. So the VM is ready for use and uh, it is installed with Ubuntu 9.10. I will log into the VM. I want my appliance to connect to my private appliance pool. For this, I need to configure my appliance with a floppy image which can be generated using the grid appliance website. I have already logged into the grid appliance website and now I will navigate to the group appliance page. I have created a group appliance called test underscore GA. I will download the floppy for this group appliance and extract it and uh, place it on my uh, local computer. This is my custom appliances folder. Now I have to configure the VM to connect to this floppy image which can be done as shown. Once the floppy image is connected, it needs to be mounted. I will first switch to the root user and uh, create a mount point at slash mnt slash fd. Now I need to change the permissions of this directory. So the mount point is created now. To mount the floppy device, use the command mount minus t auto followed by the floppy device's name. In this case, it is slash dev slash fd0 followed by the mount point, which is slash mnt slash fd. This shows that the floppy has been uh, successfully mounted. I can install the grid appliance packages only if the system is aware of grid appliances repositories. To add the repositories, type the commands shown on the screen. Now you are ready to install the grid appliance packages. You would have to start by installing the grid appliance base package using apt get install grid appliance base. Once the base package is installed, it is recommended to reboot the system. While rebooting, go to the BIOS settings by pressing F2 and make sure that your first boot device is the hard disk. In VMware Player, by default the removable devices like Floppy are con configured as the first boot device.
Now this appliance is configured with the grid appliance base uh, package and it is connected to my appliance pool. You can now install any optional packages based on your needs. Since I am tailoring my appliance for running MPI jobs, I would need the grid appliance NFS and AutoFS packages. I would also need the GCC package for compiling MPI code. The command apt get install grid appliance MPI will install the MPI package. Since I would like all my MPI appliances to be configured with the same secret word, I will add it to this appliance itself before I redistribute it. I will conf configure it with the secret word MPI underscore custom underscore appliance. and redirect it to the configuration file which is .mpd.conf With this my MPI appliance is ready. Before redistribution, you should run a script called clean.sh. This script is provided in the directory slash opt slash grid underscore appliance slash scripts. Once the script is run, you have to stop the machine using the halt command. Once the VM is shut down, you can create copies of the virtual machine and redistribute the uh, appliance. In this case, I am just creating a copy of the virtual machine on my local system itself. I will rename the second copy to Custom Appliance 2. And now I will start both the appliances. When you start the copied virtual machine, you would be asked whether you copied it or moved it. Choose the option that you copied it. And now I will start the first virtual machine. Both the virtual machines are up now. I will log into each of them. Just to verify that both the machines are in the same appliance pool, I will ping one machine one appliance from the other appliance. So this shows that they are connected. Now to configure the MPI appliance, I will switch to the user MPI and run the MPI uh, start script which uh, starts the MPI daemon processes from the location slash opt slash grid underscore appliance slash scripts. 
This script searches for other MPI appliances in the same appliance pool and starts the MPD daemon process in each of them. And this way I could easily set up my virtual cluster. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.